Hi, this is the first narrated PowerPoint video that I am going to do on Chapter 15, Evolution. The big idea for this chapter is the theory of evolution is supported by natural selection and explains the diversity of life. Section 15.1 is all about Darwin and how he came up with his theory of evolution by natural selection. The main idea for this section is Charles Darwin developed a theory of evolution based on natural selection. There are three essential questions for this section. What evidence convinced Darwin that species could change over time? What are the four principles of natural selection? And how can natural selection change a population? So use these questions to self-assess how you are understanding this section. Charles Darwin lived in England in the 1800s, and in 1831, he got a job as a naturalist aboard a ship called the Beagle that was going to sail around the Earth. So Darwin's job was to collect specimens of all of the living organisms that he found. To understand what Darwin saw, you have to place yourself in the world that Darwin lived in. People back in Darwin's time thought the Earth was 6,000 years old. We know now that the Earth is a lot older than that. And they also thought that the organisms, the animals that they saw in their backyard, the plants that they saw, were unchanged. They had started out like that, and they never changed. So one of the places that Darwin um, visited was the Galapagos Islands. And Darwin noticed when he traveled from island to island that there were slightly different varieties of plants and animals on each island. He also noticed that each specimen he collected was something that wouldn't be recognized by a scientist back in Europe at his time. And he also noticed that a lot of the specimens on the islands were very similar to South America and specimens that he'd seen there earlier in his voyages. So Darwin concluded that the island species had to have changed from mainland species, that they would have had to have come from the mainland of South America. Darwin returned to England in 1825 and spent some time thinking about all that he had seen on his voyage, and he drew some conclusions. One of the conclusions that he drew was that organisms appear to change over time. Um, so new species appear gradually um, from ancestral species. He also decided that the principles of artificial selection that are used in agriculture where people breed cows or they breed horses for a certain body type and look, those same principles could apply to nature and that there could be this natural selection. Natural selection is a process where organisms who are best suited to their environment are healthier and leave more offspring. I always like to say it's those individuals that are better suited for that environment, they eat more, they look better, and they leave more babies. There are four principles to the process of natural selection. The first one is that individuals show variation. Not everybody looks the same. The second principle is that those variations are heritable. They can be passed on to offspring. The third is that more offspring are born than can survive in the environment. And the final one is that variation 
increases reproductive success. And because it does, those variations are going to be more common in the next generation. In 1859, Darwin published On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection. So this is the book where he laid out how evolution works. Evolution is a change in a group of organisms through time, and natural selection is the mechanism of evolution. It's how evolution happens. Now that you've finished the PowerPoint, go ahead and see if you can answer those three essential questions on your own without looking back, and make sure you understand the definitions of the vocabulary.